All right, so today I woke up and I was like, you know, I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit and I'm going to try to make a shelf-stable Thanksgiving. So a Thanksgiving dinner out of just shelf-stable ingredients. So I'm not exactly sure how I am going to do this, but I think that I'm just gonna take three pots and start cooking all of this up. I do have some boneless turkey. I think I'm gonna add it into a gravy. Of course, I have the best Hawaiian sweet rolls that exist. So I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm going to use some butter, but you could use some ghee if you like really had to keep the shelf stable. But I'm just using this opportunity to get a little bit creative and kind of thinking outside of the box. If I was in an emergency situation, would I still make Thanksgiving dinner? And if so, how I would do it for me and my husband. So let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start warming both of these up and now I'm gonna to try to figure out what I'm going to do. To this, I'm adding one and a half cups of water. I'm also adding in a quarter cup of butter. You can use ghee if you want to. And I'm adding four cups of water to my cast iron Dutch oven. Now I'm going to let this come to a boil and then these two things will pretty much be done. This is going to go so quickly today. All right, now that this is coming to a boil, I'm going to make sure that butter is completely melted and then I'm going to take this off the heat and add in the stuffing mix. Here's my stuffing mix. Now I'm just going to add in this mix, stir it in, and then I'm just going to cover this. While this water's continue to come up to a boil, I do have my corn over here heating up. I am going to add a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper to, these, to this corn. And then I'm just going to pull this off the heat, add it to a serving dish, and do the same thing with my green beans. You can season your vegetables however you would like to. Now I'm going to take my boiling mashed potato water off the stove and add in my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add my green beans in here first. All right, now I have the boiling water and I'm going to add in my mashed potatoes. Whoa. Those come together so quickly. All right, I'm going to take those mashed potatoes and add them into this serving dish. So in this front pan, I'm going to take that boneless turkey. I'm going to add that into this pan on medium heat. I'm just gonna let this heat through. I'm going to add my green beans to the serving dish while that heats up. As you can see, I added my cranberry sauce to a cute little ramekin thing, majiggy. All right, what I'm doing here is I have one cup of water. I'm going to add in my chicken gravy mix. If you have canned turkey mix, you can use whatever the heck you want, but I just have this powdered gravy mix on hand and I didn't want to go buy any more, so. Just 
So I'm just gonna whisk this up with my mini whisk and then I'm just going to add this to this pot and I'll have like a turkey gravy and that'll be my turkey. All right, I'm going to add that in. I'm supposed to stir until gravy comes to a boil. This canned turkey doesn't look the best, but. All right. Wow, it has been 22 minutes since I started and this all came together so quickly. I'm kind of amazed, honestly. I'm letting this simmer for one minute. All right, now I'm going to add this to a serving dish and we are all finished. Thanksgiving dinner in less than 25 minutes. That is amazing. All right, does anyone else cover their dishes with plates that are warming up? Look at the mess that I made. This came together so quickly that I didn't have any time to throw anything away. So we're just gonna pretend like that's not there. <laughs> it's real life over here. So I have my vegetables. I have the cutest little ramekin filled with cranberry sauce. Are you a cranberry sauce person? Because I'm really not. I just did this for aesthetics, all right? My instant mashed potatoes, my stuffing, my turkey gravy, and some rolls. So I am going to fix my apple plate. Have our mashed potatoes. Got to have a little dip for the gravy. Got our stuffing. I have my roll. Now if you can heat your rolls up, make sure you do that but we're trying to keep this shelf stable. Have my corn. And my green beans. I'm going to take my turkey gravy and add that to my potatoes. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of that cranberry sauce just so I could try it out. Oh wow, that actually does taste amazing. So here is a shelf stable Thanksgiving in less than 25 minutes. I'm pretty proud of myself. All right, I'm going to do a little final thoughts. Why I make like these little casseroles with the leftovers. This actually turned out really delicious. In an emergency situation, like this would hit the spot. So like in a situation where your power's out or something and you're just like trying to celebrate a holiday like Thanksgiving, like yes, you could do something like that. Is it practical? Mm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but this was a really fun experiment. So what I'm doing with these is I'm going to do a layer of mashed potatoes, then I'm going to do a layer of green beans, then stuffing, then the turkey gravy over top, and then I'll just reheat these for like lunches or a dinner. Later on, I'm just gonna put these in the freezer. The hard part about shelf stable meals is everything is just so sodium dense. These actually look really good, do they not? I've actually been cooking a lot with turkey this year. Turkey's just so cheap. And it's so delicious. I have been making turkey breast in the slow cooker. 
I actually think I have a video coming out next. It's like slow cooker Thanksgiving dishes or something like that, but it's so nice to like cook up turkey breast and then keep them on hand for wraps and just using them just like chicken. I actually prefer turkey over chicken. That's a conversation me and my husband just had. But anyways, I'm gonna use my rolls for another dinner later on this week. So this was a successful shelf stable Thanksgiving meal video. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to let these cool down before I add them into the freezer. So if you like this video and you would like more videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. And I really appreciate that you spent a little bit of time with me today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to get to cleaning up because my kitchen is a disaster. All right.